Yeah, you can see their ID and name. So, um, they could record a video, so, that's how. And make sure, make sure, um, if you're, if, to prove that they actually should be banned, make sure to record all of it and send it in the Discord, uh, so that we know if they actually should be banned or not, because we don't want, we don't want to false ban people. I think the uh, I think server boosters should get early access. I think early access badge. Server booster and beta testers will have the early access badge. The finger painter will be the GT one. It'll look like it, but when you put it on, there'll be a few fingers, a bunch of creators, and there's nothing. Um, it's only the finger that will work out. Yeah. Make sure, and when you enter the game, make sure to name yourself. Like, you can do that as cosmetics. Basically, like, if you're a hundred creator or you're a server booster. Yeah. Is it, isn't it bannable to have the name Gorilla, right? Well, not really bannable, but like... Also, I just want to say, if you ever use a DLL, it's, it's pro I think it's a permanent ban, right? Permanent bans for DLLs. I think, I think probably like a week or something would be good if you're personating. 
something like that. Um. Can I can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? Um. So if what if they like uh they're like guys like I have this it like and like they just have the wrench on is that bannable or? Okay. And I have one more question. What if it's a moderator impersonating another moderator or the owner? Is that bannable? Um, if, if a moderator is impersonating me, I'll be like, well, no, But what if it, a moderator isn't impersonating a moderator? Um, Okay. Yeah, and if they say, and if they say no, just don't do it because that you have to have the permission to do it because uh, if not, it's, I think it's I should think it should be ban bannable if not, maybe like a day ban, or even get your stick taken away.